I thought maybe I'd bring it a little bit of uh, dribbling. I mean, it's, dribbling is something that we all try to teach our players every so often. And I just want to show you how I would do it. So maybe at the end of the day, you take something with you. Um, mine is a little bit more, I call it more of dynamic because it's not what we call the orthodox method where people just stand around or players dribble and coaches. And I'm sure you guys, if you played sometime back there where coaches, you dribble and they say how many fingers I have up in the air and you stop the ball and you say five and then you dribble again. Um, and we're not going to do that. We're going to do a little bit more dynamic. You know, it's going to be a little bit more progressive. It's going to engage the kids. And uh, I want, by the end of the day, I want to believe that you guys will walk away with just something. Maybe not all. Uh, my name, um, my name is Sam Okpodu. Um, originally from Nigeria. I played for the Nigeria national team. Uh, 79, 80, 81, before I came down to the States, played for NC State. Uh, three times All-American. Uh, still hold the all-time leading goal scoring in the ACC, 77 goals in 77 games. Uh, that record still has not been broken. Assist and goals is 179. Uh, and then became an assistant coach, um, NC State, and then went to become my own head coach at Virginia Tech for 10 years. And in 2000, I became, I went back to Nigeria to become the manager for the under-20 team, the inaugural under-20 team that went to Canada. So, uh, after that, they drafted me to become the head coach of the full team. So I qualified the, the, call, the, that's the, the, Super, uh, the Super Falcons. That's the top ladies' team, the women's team. I qualified them in 2002. Also qualified, won the championship in Africa, and then qualified them for the World Cup that was supposed to take place in China, but eventually got moved here to the States. After that, uh, I did a little bit of work with the Federation, and now I'm the men's soccer coach at Newberry College. That is my short version of my introduction. So I'm going to go join the guys, and I hope you all enjoy yourself watching the sessions. All right, guys, let's go. Bring it in. Very good. Very good. Remember what we talked about this morning? Okay, what I'd like to see happen, I know the, the, uh, this is not like natural grass, so I'm gonna, you're going to need to work a little bit because the ball is going to skip away and run away from you. All right, so we're going to use this area for right now. What I'd like to see is you guys now just dribble the ball. Okay, dribble the ball. One foot, okay, just one foot, touch the ball inside and outside. Inside and outside as you dribble. So we're going to use this area for right now. Get a little bit closer to this way. Very good. Inside and outside. And also, what you see is when they dribble, guys, don't go too far. Stay a little bit closer this way. All right, stay a little bit closer this way. Of, oftentimes when players dribble, okay, they look down. They look down when they dribble. And... Coaches, most times, you're constantly saying to them, look up, look up, look up. One of the things we're going to do today is I'm not going to be the one telling them to look up. It's the activities that I put together that's going to get them to look up. If not, they're going to collide. All right? So I got to the point where I was so tired telling players to look up. It's not realistic. So we need to make things realistic. All right? That's what we're going to do. All right, guys, bring it close this way. For some reason, they're moving that way. So we need to try and get them a little bit closer this way. All right, guys, bring it this way, guys. Get a little bit closer this way. A little bit closer. Let's go. All right, now, let me have your ball. What we're going to do as you dribble, touch the ball as you go. We're going to do the, what I call the overpass. Roll the ball with the outside and take it. So we're walking. We can go on the inside. This is almost what you see on the highway. Moving the ball, I'm going to show you how we're going to use that in the course of the game. All right, so let's go ahead and do that. Go ahead. Whose ball is this? Go. Stay on this side, guys. Stay on this side. Stay on this side so the coaches here can see you. All right, come up this way a little bit.
Now, in dribbling, obviously, we use dribbling to keep possession. Okay? All right, so it's very important they learn how to keep the ball close to their feet. When you dribble, most times, people run with a ball, and the ball don't stay close to them. To beat somebody in the game, the ball needs to be close to your feet. At every time you make steps, you're actually contacting the ball, both inside and outside. All right? So every step you take, fellas, every step you take, make sure you're making contact with the ball. Every step. Push the ball, accelerate, go and stop and turn. Accelerate, push the ball. All right, very good, very good. 